Hello, hello, the stream is starting. How's everyone doing today? Oh boy. Had a long day, but I'm very happy to be here. For those who don't know me, I'm Black Cat. I primarily do dungeon crawlers and uh, RPGs and the like. Been playing a lot of Baldur's Gate and... Uh, I also usually play a ton of Path of Exile, but I've been out for this league, so mainly Baldur's Gate and Dead Rising lately. Lately, I have been doing a Baldur's Gate 3 Dark Urge playthrough with my character Lilith. We are just about done the first act of the game and moving into the second. And I've also been doing Baldur's Gate 3 challenges. Namely... The main challenge that I've been doing right now is how fast can I kill the Commander Zulk, the first level 8 boss in the tutorial level on balance difficulty. That is using two level 1 characters, so Shadowheart and Lysel. And so far, my best time has been 8 minutes and 47 seconds. I have learned a little bit since doing that, and I would really like to keep trying at it, because I think I think I can do a bit better in the future. With a bit more practice. Hi Ron! Nice to see you here. Just a reminder for anyone who is watching on Twitch, for one bit currently, if you cheer one you will be able to have your chat message pop up in the top left-hand corner of the screen, and your money will yell at me. If you decide you want to do that. Uh, it currently looks a little bit weird, but I haven't had the chance to change it yet. Oh. Man, I got uh, my COVID shot and my flu shot today, so I'm going to be a little bit wonky, but... Uh, I ask that you bear with me a bit, and uh, hopefully, hopefully things will go okay. Okay, so without further ado, let's go right in. So I've been starting as Shadowheart. I just have a uh, initial load-in checkpoint here. the The challenge starts as soon as the cutscene starts. So basically, how fast I can get through the cutscenes. Okay, and I'm in. So I just started with Shadowheart as like an origin character. You can just select her and start with her instead of actually making your own character. And that's what I'm doing. And Lysel. Let's just spam one and space to skip things. Lysel attacks, kills the first imp. Battle Heart attacks, kills the second, or damages the second imp because she can't kill an imp in one shot usually. Lysel attacks. You can end turn as soon as they start the swing animation. You don't have to continue it. Because it will continue. It will finish the animation. We're going to loot this specific thrall here for the extra health potion. And we're going to go up. The extra health potions are very important, as we are going to need it for the Mind, sl mind, mind Slayer? Mind Flayer. There's nothing over here I need, right? No. Okay. Go here. Immediately enter turn... No, close. Enter turn base mode. Lysel. Dip your weapon in fire. Oops. I did not mean to end Shadowheart's turn too. That is a waste of eight seconds. Okay. 
Cast resistance, and through the sphincter we go. Using turn-based mode, I don't know if that actually helps me too much. The idea is to just make things last as long as possible. Okay. First thing we're going to do, command drop. We need to get him to drop his weapon. Okay, we succeeded. Cool. Mind player's going to go. Okay, he dealt damage and he stunned. Good. That's a very... Not required, but it's pretty important for the first hit. Now, Lizelle, the first thing she has to do is she has to go fight the Hellbore. Ideally, she would kill the Hellbore, but here we are. The imps I'm just going to keep avoiding because one uses range and one uses uh, magic, and honestly, I don't really find them to be that dangerous. Okay, let's move forwards. Okay, Lizelle next turn needs to kill the Hellbore and then move forwards. She needs to go pick up that weapon as soon as possible. Because she's going to pick up his Everburn Blade that's been dropped from the ground. And she will be doing... Su she'll be our sub-DPS with the uh, Mind Flayer being the main DPS. Right there. Everburn Blade. Okay. Okay, move around to that side, and we're going to push the commander if we can. Nope. Okay, move around to the right. We're going to attack. Okay. Now we need to start throwing potions at the Mind Flare. Well, Lysel's going to attack. She doesn't need to throw throwing potions. The commander already is at 85 of 150, so he's been doing some pretty good damage. It's nice to see. Okay. Oh, yeah, actually, we're doing really good right now. Moving forwards. Shadow Heart's down. That's not amazing. I'm going to have to get her back up. Maybe I need to actually kill some of the imps. Because when they do hit, it's kind of sucky. The important thing is that I don't go past the line right here, or it will trigger more things. More enemies to spawn. These can be in spawn at te at uh, on turn nine, no matter what. So, or nine turns remaining, I should say. So I can't do anything about that. But I crossed the line that I said I shouldn't cross. Uh, uh. No, hit, 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 and time. Five minutes and 52 seconds! What's it? How did I, How did that... How was that so much faster? Usually it's like... I mean, that's, that's so much... That's so different than the last run. The last run was almost three minutes slower than that. I'm just gonna go like skip. I'm just gonna go to the to the transceiver and then save uh, when we hit the beach. So I and I'm gonna save the time with uh, how much I got from that. I don't know. Just not that I need to do it. It's just kind of fun. It's satisfying because I did that the first time. So I was like, you know what? Why as well? I think next time though, I need to focus on the imps a lot more than I have because they apparently are going to be kind of a big problem for me. Thank you, Ron. Oh, 
I did a couple practice runs and I did some research on this challenge, but none of it explains how I just shaved three minutes off my time. That I don't know. Almost makes me wonder if I should move up in the difficulty. The helm's alien Loading. You're not as alien as the creature hiding deep inside your head. Okay, so that was five uh, fifty two. Yeah, you can see the difference as the playtime's only set to 10 minutes versus this set to 13. Okay, let's try loading up again. Try for another run. See if we can do better. I don't know if we're going to be able to do better than 5 minutes and 52 seconds, but we're going to try. We are going to try and see. I did actually find out about a cool little glitch. Uh, I ha either I don't know if it's been patched out or I haven't been able to do it. But once you have Lysel, you can chuck her uh, uh, mage hand over the wall. You can chuck her mage hand right over the wall near where you meet her, and it will like teleport you into the boss room. Which is a cool idea. Uh, I've not been able to get to work, but it does seem pretty cool. Okay. Check the thrall. I didn't actually get the potion. Oh well. Oh, I love the Hades music. I should buy the soundtrack for the second Hades. I don't, even, I don't even own the second Hades, but I should buy the soundtrack for it just because, like, all their soundtracks are amazing. Supergiant Games, who makes, uh... Who makes the series... Is very, very good at their sound design specifically. Okay. Got here at a minute and 50 seconds. That's a bit slow for our initial run. Why did I attack the imp? Yeah, it just occurred to me, why did I do that? <laughs> I need to succeed at the command drop, or this is probably a failure. Okay, good. He dropped the Everburn Blade, and he doesn't seem to know how to pick up his weapon. Also, if you want, like, a kick-ass greatsword at the start of the game, you can just pick up his sword. Nintendo! Okay. 
that first. Move over there. Can you pick up the blade right now? No, nope, not far enough. That was kind of a misplay. I should have left the imp to, uh, to Shadow Heart. What? An action there. I think I fucked something up. Hit, hit there. Move over. Nintendo. Back. Hmm, he's at half health right now at four minutes. So this run is going slower than the last one. I, I've misplayed a few times, which is definitely where it's coming from. That and just I've been slower. Okay. Attack. Sanctuary. I'm now locked in Sanctuary, so I'll be okay. I did misplay. I shouldn't have been attacking Commander Zalk with, uh, with Shadow Heart. Instead, I should have been... I should have been throwing uh, health potions at the Mind Flayer. Yeah, because now, now Lysel's down. That's not good. That's really bad, in fact. I might be able to salvage this. Oh. All I have is a bonus action. I might still be able to finish it, just with worse results. Oh, I needed you to hit that. Lacerate. Okay, no. Yeah, I figured that was going to happen. So it seems that you don't lose Sanctuary... Even if you help someone up, you just can't attack. Interesting. I have to keep that in mind. Okay, so I need to make sure I'm attacking the right enemies. Because that definitely was my downfall there. Also, I need to remember not to attack anything with Shadow Heart in the final fight. Need her to be throwing potions, or I'm risking the Mind Flayer going down, and that, I... The Mind Flayer is my damage. Thank you. Okay, this time I'm gonna properly, properly loot the corpse. Click, got it. Spam, 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 spam.
Okay, casting resistance, so I take less spell damage, yep. Not gonna bother with dip and fire. Not since I'm gonna be swapping weapons anyways, I don't know if it matters. I don't know if it changes anything. Okay, Shadow Heart, command. Command drop. Okay. Okay, good. First attack succeeded. Albor is going to attack me. Lysel is going to kill the Hellbor, hopefully. Okay, and try to move if you can. Cool. Okay, next will be Shadow Heart. So she needs to jump. And throw a potion. Okay, uh, Lizelle, you also need to jump. You can move far enough. I still don't think you're going to move far enough, but I'm going to try. Okay, and I can't do this yet, can I? Because it's an action? No, I can't. Okay. I'll equip it next turn. He's at 116. It's not ideal, but it's something. Okay, she's going to equip sword uh, hit. That's done. Oh my god, she got a daze on him! Holy shit! That's usually impossible because of his... Uh, his abilities. I don't need to... I don't need to use a potion yet on him. I forgot to turn the timer on. That's really frustrating. Especially because this run's going decently. His health is a bit below what I want it to be, which is unfortunate. Or a bit above. No, he's doing okay. Fun fact, you can actually block these guys if you stack crates in their way and they can't get in. <laughs> it's really funny. That's not worth the time for me. But, uh, ah, fuck, I missed. Okay, I need to move to where Lysel is, and then throw a potion, I think. Uh, no, I don't have time. Sanctuary. Okay. Lysel moves slightly behind Rendo here. Okay, he's at 59 health. The reason I'm using Sanctuary is so that she doesn't get killed, and as long as one of my people don't get killed, or as long as both my people don't get killed, I'm still going to be fine. I'm still going to be able to complete this. So I just need to not move from that spot now. Until Lysel needs my help for some reason, if she goes down. Basically, Shadowheart exists there in Sanctuary waiting for when Lysel falls over, like or that. Right there. Yeah, and that doesn't interrupt Sanctuary. Okay. Lysel might be out of chances to deal damage in if she gets knocked down right now. Yep.
Well, thankfully Lysel does have potions still, so that is decent, but I don't know if that's going to matter, because these things can hit well over my max health. If they if they hit, though. Oh, oh, that's good. Oh, fuck. I fucked that up. That was supposed to be... My brain was like, oh, it's Lysel's turn already. No, it wasn't. It was Shadowheart's turn. And now Shadowheart is down. <laughs> that one misplay might have actually just cost me the run. Yep. <sighs> That's fine. Okay, I'll start the timer as soon as we see the cutscenes. Yeah, if you mix, mix up your people, you are fucked. Because if Shadowheart attacks, she loses Sanctuary, and Sanctuary is the only reason why I'm being prevented from losing. Can I move any faster here? No, I don't think so, because like her jumping ability is nothing, so it's not like I can just jump farther. Okay, spam, 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 spam. Okay. Lizel and and turn. Yeah, I can cut a little bit of time out of their turns if I if I end turn while uh, my character's attacking. I misclicked so many times! Ugh. Okay, click here, not on the door, because I need to keep moving after the autosave. Maybe I should turn off autosaves. Can I turn off autosaves? That would actually make the run, like, a few seconds faster if I could. Okay, uh, wait for the cutscene. Uh... Okay, and then uh, resistance, go to the door. Yeah, yeah, okay, turning off auto saves might save me like six or so seconds. Okay, Lysel's first, so she'll go after the Hellbore. Perfect. Oh, we got the stun on the first. Uh, First tentacle strike, or whatever it's called. Drop, 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 thank you. Okay, I need you to get as far as you can over to here. Okay, perfect chance. I didn't realize I could use the charge like that. I didn't even consider that. I used the charge to make up the extra distance. And then I was able to pick up the blade a turn early. So this turn, I'm going to spend doing that. Going to pommel strike him and be done. Okay. Move you over there. Okay, Lizelle, you're gonna attack. Okay. Mind Flare still doesn't need a potion, so I can finish off that. One less creature is one less turn that has to be dealt with. I'm gonna try to lacerate him for bleeding if I can. That was wrong. I probably should have thrown a potion there. Not throwing a potion is throwing. Okay. Actually, this is perfect because they're beside each other, so I can splash both of them at once. Not that Lysel needs it, but... It's something. 
Okay, Zalk is at 80. That's pretty good. It's good for four minutes in. I don't know how I got the five minute run. That was like the god seed. Throw. Okay, Lysel's gonna attack him, and then Shadowheart's gonna dodge behind him and throw a potion at the Mind Flayer. Yep. Okay, and she's gonna move farther behind him. Mind Flayer's gonna attack. Shadowheart's gonna dodge behind him. Throw her last potion. And turn. Next turn, Shadowheart is gonna Sanctuary, because these guys will be almost able to get us, but not yet. The other Cambion might hit Lysel. We'll see. Uh, I didn't count on that one. Shit. I did not count on that. That was a misplay. But I can't at least Sanctuary myself still. Okay. Zalk is at, Zalk is at 15 already. Holy shit. Come on, Lysel. Come on, Lysel. Come on, Lysel! Come on, Lysel! Come on, Lysel! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Hit! 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 Yes! Five minutes and thirty-seven seconds. Oh! Oh my gosh! That's that's faster, right? That, I'm pretty sure that's faster. Yeah, I, I know, I don't care. Yeah, 52 before. I managed to stay off 15 seconds. And Shadar is still a sanctuary, so they're going to ignore her because they can't attack. Oh god damn it, I didn't transfer this the timer to the new wait, what? Wait, why can't you see the timer? Oh well that sucks that you can't see the timer on screen. That's kind of important that you can see it on screen. What the fuck? I can see it! Um... I don't... I don't understand. Okay, well, let me save this run at least. I really wanted the timer to be on screen for that, though. I don't know why... I don't know why it's just ignoring me telling it to be on screen, but... Why is window capture not working? Why... No, why is it not... Shh. You're... Okay, I can see it. Is that... No. Yes! Now I can see it! What the fuck? You're not as alien as the creature hiding deep inside your head. You must get rid of it. 53709 Yeah, thank you thank you for noting that cuz I wasn't going to notice since my preview what okay <laughs> it was it was being glitchy there for a second but it's fine my preview shows it here I can see it but for some reason I couldn't see it for a second 
I don't know why. Okay. Well, that's annoying, but... Okay, now it's working now. Okay, let's see if we can get to a comparable time and it actually have a timer on screen this time. How about that? Man, my goal was to get under eight minutes and we're under six now. That was incorrect. Try that again. I need to hit the timer before I hit the uh, before I hit the cutscenes. Otherwise, I I'm the timer's not right. Okay. Here we go. Uh, Yeah, I don't know why it's so much faster this time. Maybe I'm getting lucky with the damage from the Mind Flare? Like, that's the only variable I can think of that's different. Well, that and just, like, general efficiency on my part. Because, like, ending the turn mid-animation for your character does speed things up a little bit. Not a huge amount, but... It's something. Oh, I need to tr remember to try and remove, uh, the, uh, turn off the autosaves for this, just to cut down on my time. Oh, the fire isn't here this- oh, there it is. Whatever. I love Terminal March. Which is the song that's playing. The Bastion soundtrack had some, like, really good stuff. That's not Lysel. Ugh. I need to stop doing that. Fine. I'll kill this one instead. That was a misplay. And now I'm gonna have to kill him because I'm in range of him now. I won't be able to spell cast her easily this way. Oh, that's not good. Okay, run over there. Okay, I just wasted some time. Hopefully not too much time. Um, well, a lot more now that I just fucked that up. I was not supposed to make her jump. I was supposed to kill the Hellbore, which... I am now... I'm I'm doing this differently, and it's fucking me up a lot. Ah. I just healed him! What is wrong with me? I can't be healing him! That took up my only other spell slot that I need for Sanctuary! And Saddleheart's dead. Okay, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, this is- this is a ridiculously- that's a ridiculous fail. I was trying to go too fast, and I failed because of it. I need to check. Okay. I need- I need- 
I need to check the turn order first and not use Lysel. Or not use Shadow Heart as Lysel. Yeah, I'm just... By the way, I, I set my, my stuff down here in the corner, my movement direction, because then she'll take the most efficient path while walking around this. First person attacks that imp. Yeah, I'll turn off auto saves next time. Okay, Lazel kills that imp. Then Shadowheart moves first. Okay. Yes, we do have to keep pushing. I feel more or less fine right now. Because as I mentioned earlier, I did get uh, the flu and COVID shot today, so I do have low-grade flu bacteria in my body and low-grade COVID bacteria. So, technically, my brain should be a little bit off right now. And entering and 148. That's good. Okay, Shadowheart is first. Okay, that's good. I just need to make sure not to do the wrong thing with her. Okay, drop, 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 drop. I succeed at that 50% chance way more often than I should. Not that I'm complaining, but oh my gosh. Okay, that was a save. That's bad. He's still at full health. Oh, uh, that's... I'm playing well. The RNG is not favoring me, though, currently. Which is a concerning thing. Okay. I'm gonna throw a potion at him. It's fine. Uh, Lizelle, I need you to... Move forwards over here and pick up his sword. There it is. Oh, I fucked that up. I should have jumped. Yeah, I need to kill the one that's not the caster. Okay, you're going over there. Blast you. Okay, you need to pick up the sword. Okay, pommel strike. I need to use the bull rush that I was using last time with her long sword to get extra distance. Okay, I need to potion throw. Potion throw, potion throw, potion throw. Potion throw. Yep, you're first. Okay, Lizelle, you're going to move slightly closer there, so I can hit both of you at once. Okay, potion throw. No! Oh, that was a real fuck up. I hit Zalk with the potion. I shouldn't have done that. I should have just put Lazel behind him like I usually do. Okay, I'm out of potions. So I'm gonna blast this imp right here. Move to her, swap, okay. Ooh, critical hit. Four minutes in, I'm under 80 health on him. Under half on him. That's good. Campion's coming in. I. It's. Uh, I might need to start killing the imps faster so that I don't have to wait for their turn, but I don't know. Okay. Okay, you're going in Sanctuary mode just now to be careful. I don't, I don't trust the Campions after a last time where they came up and just one-shot Shadowheart. Uh, 
I don't want your spine. Nope, that's Shadow Heart. <laughs> I almost stacked with Shadow Heart again. Okay, he's at 43. We won't be we won't do the 537, but we will be able to do this fairly fast. It should be a success. If she doesn't get kill here. Okay, good. Nope. Oh, I really needed him to hit that. That's not good. That's really bad. So I can get Lizelle up, but she's not going to have her actual proper turn because of that. I should have actually second. Um, I should have actually healed. Ugh! Stop saving on the Mind Blast! That's so not good. Okay, you're gonna move behind Zalk. Nah, nope, you're not. Never mind. Okay, well, she's alive right now. I really... Mind Flare, I need you to actually hit. Why are you not hitting him? You... He... You're one shot from killing him. What are you doing? Oh, my God. Are you fucking getting me? He's one at one health. He has one health left. Stop killing the friendly lizard! You know what? I'm pissed. Hit him! Damn it! <laughs> I had to try. Oh, and now, now I get absolutely fucked from every side. Yeah, that imp usually is not important, so that's kind of unfortunate. Maybe I need to clear... Hmm. Maybe I need to... Hydrate. Maybe I need to clear the imps first. Yeah, that imp sniping really had a major effect, huh? Uh, wait, what? I just... I hit escape to open the menu. Why... Why we do? What do? Oh, it just brought me to main menu. Okay, can I turn off autosave somehow? Autosave, there we are. Okay. Let's try this again. Okay, you still see the timer, that's good. Yeah, that run went so, so very sideways, so very quickly. I wish there was some way I could get them to move faster. I've tried using jump, but jump seems to very rarely actually do anything. For speed. Like, it really really does not feel like it it increases my speed Okay, Lysol moves first, attack, and then move forwards. No damage, that's good. Having to stop would suck. Okay, Sphincter. 
I sphinct, we need to go this way. Okay, and cutscene. Okay, resistance. Resistance just gives me a better chance of not getting hit by spells. Okay, who's first? Who's first? Who's first? Shadowheart's first. Okay, Shadowheart. Move forwards. Command drop. That's 55% chance, but I seem to get... Oh, God. I should have said anything. <laughs> Okay, I might have just lost. I might have just lost. Because now she can't Sanctuary. Because I have to command him now. And if I fail on the command, then... If I fail on this command, I have to restart. It doesn't matter what what's going on. I have to restart. Command drop. Okay, got the weapon drop at least. Please, please jump. Please move. Thank you. Kill the imp. I want you to rush this way. Please jump. Nope. I'm gonna keep trying. I'm gonna just still try it. I'm gonna try to clear the imps. And see if that's enough. Oh. Can I please pick that up? Thank you. Oh, it's Shadow Heart next. Okay. Throw a potion. Okay, I need you to swap blades. Cool, pommel strike, and. Okay, throw a potion. Oh, walk over, walk over there first. Throw a potion. Oh god, for a second I thought I walked too far. But no, I'm fine. Oh, yep. Go. Oh. oh, I missed twice. That's not good. That is not good at all. Last potion. Attack. Ambience. Okay, Zalk is four minutes and we're at sixty-eight. That's that's good. That's good. That's pretty good. If the brain. Okay, my brain stalled for a second. We're okay though. Okay, next turn. I need to second wind with Lysel. And I don't know what I'm going to do with Shadowheart, honestly. Because she can't defend anymore. I guess she's going over there. Nope, she's not, because if I go over there, it creates more enemies! Ugh! I'm trying to think too fast. Okay, Cambion, 33 health! That's good. That is really good. Okay, only one of these should be able to hit me. Yeah, the other one's probably gonna hit me. Or the Mind Flayer. Preferably the Mind Flayer, because he can take it. No, um, I don't like that. That's bad. Please kill. Okay, well, not kill. Okay, you need to kill, you need to kill, you need to kill, you need to- Fuck! Not one health! Not one health! Kill! Not one health! Okay. Okay, it's gonna skip Shadowheart's turn. All the Cambians are about to gang up on Lysel. Um, I might have lost with him at one health. Don't attack me, don't attack- Oh, thank gosh you're not attacking me. Okay, please, 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 done. Okay. 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 Fucking hell.
Oh my gosh. Yeah, no, that's an extremely good time. It's not my best time, and I'm sad that I didn't get the timer on my best time. Even though I do- you could technically time it. I don't care. Oh fuck, I ended her- <laughs> I ended her movement. Oops. Okay. Six is pretty good. That's pretty damn good. Especially considering that I've been hunting for below eight. I, I don't understand how I'm so much faster than before now. Like, I don't, like, three minutes faster feels weird to me. But, I mean, I, I, I have undeniable results. 547, because I'll round to the nearest second. So, 37 is my best time so far, and 47, was which we just did, was my second best time. And 52 was the time we started today with. And 847 was my best time uh, as of Tuesday. So, I've gotten three minutes faster. Three minutes and ten seconds faster now for my personal best. That is... really impressive, in my opinion. <laughs> I'm very happy with that. Oh, okay. We are going to take a quick three-minute break, and then we will be back with more Baldur's Gate 3 Challenge stuff. Things and doodads. Yes. Yes. Do. Do dad dads. Yes. And things. Okay. Beer be. And we're back. Oh, that is the wrong screen. There we go. Okay. I agree, Ron. It is crazy how, how much the times have improved. Okay. So, do I dare try tactician difficulty? I say yes. Yes, I dare. Because there are Explorer, Balanced, which is what I play with in the Dark Urge playthrough, Tactician, which is harder, and Honor, which is ridiculous, apparently. I'm going to play this as usual. I'm just going to start with Shadowheart. Do you need anything special? I don't think so. Fire Blast is my cantrip. Should I have... I could take Minor Illusion as my cantrip, actually. That would be kind of cool. Hmm. 
Prepared spells. I don't actually need most of this. All I need is these. I don't even need all those. Actually, no, I'm going to take out... Should I remove any of these? No. I want to remove the healing spell so I don't have any... Any uh, impulse to do otherwise. To, like, accidentally use them. Okay, first try on Tactician Difficulty. Okay, we're going to find out how much harder this is. Everything looks the same. Nothing seems all that different here. The imps have seven health instead of six. One of the first thing I'm noticing, but that's not gonna have a huge effect, I don't think. Oh, that body doesn't have a potion in it anymore. It had a gold coin instead. Interesting. Oh, it occurs to me that I didn't get an autosave at the very start of this to try and retry it because autosaves are off. Okay, well, I'm going to have to redo this in a second then. And, uh, yep, I'm aware. In the sphincter, you be go. 44 seconds. I'm being faster. Okay, Liza was going first. I actually prefer that. Okay. Frustrates me that the hell boar is not dead. Drop chance is still the same. Okay, succeeded. So he's 195 health on uh, on tactician instead of 150. So he is going to be harder to deal with. Excuse me. Jump, please. Jump, please. Thank you. Okay. Throw potion. I don't know how that didn't hit me. I was trying to be close enough so it would hit both of us, but whatever. So I'll just attack twice. I could swear he doesn't usually attack twice. Okay, I'm out of potions now, so I'm going to trade off with Lysel. Lysel, you're going to go over there and pick up the Everburn Blade. And you're going to equip it right now. Going to Second Wind. Heal up. Okay, I'm going to go kill this thing now. Wow. I killed the Lesser Imp? That is pretty good. Let's make this oh, I might as well contribute. Should I try to move one? Yeah, I'll move one. Is 
Attack! Okay. Uh, minor illusion over there. Hopefully that'll distract... Everyone who needs to be distracted. Oh god, I'm provoking attack of opportunity if I move. Okay, I'm gonna move there. Uh, he didn't seem to care about us before, but now uh, he'll do attacks of opportunity on us, it seems. That's scary. Okay, so he is at... 102 now at five minutes. That's pretty good, I imagine, for tactician. No, not that. I want to lacerate him. Fuck. That's not ideal. Okay, at least the mind flare hit. Uh, I can't do anything. Ooh, that hurt. Hey, no, I need both of those on Lysel, actually. Ugh, I was worried that was gonna happen. We're in a rough spot. Yeah, that's not good. Maybe I need to be blessing the Mind Flayer or something instead. So that it can do more damage. Okay, that's just not cool. This is looking like a pretty not good run, that's for sure. I wouldn't call this excessively difficult. And yes, I, I do know... I, I, I do get what you're saying, but I, st I wouldn't call this, cause this excessively difficult. I would call this normal difficult for what this is. I mean, it's meant to be a more difficult version. These champions have 106 health instead of 40. Oh, God. I think I need... Uh, I think I need to get everything more or less perfect to make Tactician work. Is what it's looking like. But yeah, no, I, I think this is a fair difficulty, because I I am trying to beat a level 8 with two level 1 characters. Like, it's not supposed to be... that You're not supposed to do that. And just, just keep in mind, the max level of this game is level 12. So that's the equivalent of a level 65 character in most RPGs. I'm going to turn back on autosaves for a moment. Okay. Changing the cantrip. I like minor illusion. That was fun. Okay. Yeah, that should all be fine. I want to remove any temptation to use anything weird. Oh, 
Okay, so I need the autosave, the initial one. Okay, good. So it did auto save already. Okay. You must survive and bring it to Baldur's Gate. Turn off auto save, and I will load game now. Oh, that slowed me down. Yeah, so I chose to up her strength by one just so that she can jump farther. Which will be moderately useful depending on what we're doing. I need to start using the the dip in fire. Cause if you you can there's a skill called dip where you can just like touch any sort of surface that has some sort of effect on it. Um Azel, can you go up there? Okay, this is there's fire there. What? And because of that, I now have 1d4 fire damage on it. Oh, but it only lasts two turns. Okay, so that explains... Okay. Okay. Okay, besides the Hellbore, we might need to just ignore everything else. Just ignore the imps, because I don't know if the imps are going to matter enough to bother with them. That's not good. Okay, I need, need to get the drop. Drop, 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 drop. Good. AC. AC 16. That's actually pretty damn good for starting the game at. Please hit. Thank you. I needed that. Alright. Mind Flare does in fact need potion very badly. I'm going to try a slightly new approach this time and see how this goes. Now that I'm in range, it should work. Okay, go pick up the Everburn Blade. Okay, here's the slightly different approach. Bless. Okay. We're blessed. Hopefully that'll be enough to make the Mind Flare do more damage. Because Bless gives 1d4 to attack rolls and saving throws, so hopefully he shouldn't miss as often. Okay, need to kill you.
I was hoping that the Mind Flayer would be a bit stronger. He does have higher health, and they're both the same level, but I don't know. I need to throw potions now. The other option is there. there is a way that you can kill both Cambians, the Mind Flayer. Uh, hold on. There's a way you can kill both Cambians and the Mind Flayer and Zalk on any even higher difficulty than this. Uh, but it's not as fast. Uh, the way is, if you see these Nautiloid tanks over over up here, the purple tanks, uh, those are explosive. If you just pile them up around the Mind Flayer and Zalk, then they explode for a lot. That was a really bad thing to miss. We just have to go all out and attack. I don't think we have really much any other choice at the moment. Uh-oh. That's not good. I like my spine, though. Leave my spine alone! Oh, that's really not good. Yeah, I can't do anything about that. I don't think my current method is going to work. I don't think there is any any way to do this that will work with my current method. Because the mind player just do is not doing enough damage. <clears throat> Gordon Murray help Zalt kill the Mind Flayer? I mean... Isn't that every failed run? Because <laughs> as soon as you kill the Mind Flayer, Zalt comes after you. And as soon as you kill Zalt and both the Cambians, then the Mind Flayer comes after you. So no matter what, when one side is gone, that the remaining side comes after you. Hmm. Thinking what the best plan is right now. I might try something with the canisters and see how that goes. The Nautiloid tanks. Can you shut your eyes? The mission. Oh. The artifact. Oops. Many with Let's start the timer. I'm still gonna start the timer, just in case I do actually kill him. Can you shut the mission Got to keep moving. Okay, are there tanks anywhere? Rain. I'm not seeing any more any tanks in this room. Something that I will try though is I'm gonna dip and fire here. Oh, but that's only that's only four turns total. Okay, so that's that's still not useful. Well, I am getting faster.
Hmm. Money. I wonder what this thrall has. Level 3 thrall. That's money. I need 270 XP to level. Okay, there's nothing in that one. Grabbing the tank. Okay. I'm gonna go into this room. Oh, I thought there would have been a more nautiloid stuff in here. Never mind. Hello, friend. Goodbye. Resistance her? Oh, okay, so oh, great, because it's concentration, so only one of us can have it at a time. Okay, weapon drop. Okay, so there's a lot of Nautiloid tanks. I'm gonna jump with Shadow Heart. If I can't not, it's gonna provoke. Push. That worked. Cool. I pick it up. Cool. I'm gonna build a little stockpile of, of hell behind them. Pick up. Pick up. I'm gonna try to get rid of the, uh, the imp so that I don't have any risk of it interfering. Fine. Okay. Pick that up. Oh no. Oh, I am so lucky that that didn't kill me. Oh fuck, I didn't mean to go that far. Okay. Dumping the Nautiloid tanks. Okay, I need to not get myself killed. Okay, Nautiloid tank, Nautiloid tank. Okay, and then I will move Lysel into position. If I can... Can I move that? Yeah. Okay, Lysel. Please, please kill the things that are in my way. I try to get lights out of the way so that when I blow this up, I don't die too. Actually, no, no. I'm just gonna. I'm. I. I gotta kill these people that are haunting me. Ok, 
Okay, I need to kill you. Then get the heck away from the ex where the explosion radius is. Oh, wow, that killed the Hellbore. Okay, cool. Do that. Pommel strike. I'm scared. I don't know if if I'm worried that Shadow Heart might not be the last that last another turn. Mm, no, I think she'll be fine. I'm gonna hit Commander Zalk once with this. Oh, I really wish that worked. We're gonna see explosions in a second. Don't worry. They can't get to us. Oh, they can do something, apparently, though. Oh, boy. Uh, I'm scared. Um, I hope I can produce fire with Sacred Flame. Uh-oh. I can't do that. Do I have any method of producing fire? I didn't take Conjure Fire. I didn't take Conjure Fire and I didn't take Fireball. So that's awkward. Uh, I don't know if I can do anything about that. Um... Ha! Ah, because I needed to use- I needed Fireball or Conjure Fire. Hey, Lysel's doing pretty good. We don't need to completely shit on her. Okay, can you get to Lizel somehow? Oh, she... Nope. No, Lizel... Lizel is dead. I hope this will work. Nope. Nope, it didn't. Uh... My only hope is to get to Lizel and take the Burning Blade and attack the ground with it. Nope. Okay. So, I feel like I have a direction now. I'm going back to the main menu and I'm deleting the original save. Oh, wait. Turn back on autosave. Tactician. Okay, so I'm going to give her produce flame. One illusion's fine, and then you're losing guidance and getting produce flame. You lose one intelligence and you're gaining it in strength. Paired spells. Take all of that crap out. Sanctu protection from good and evil, sanctuary, command, and. I don't know, create or destroy water, I guess. this again. This time with a more 
flame flame enabled character. Okay. So she now has fire on her hand. And she will keep that. So she can now throw fire whenever she wants, and she also produces light. Wait, wait, Lizel didn't kill her imp, but Shadowheart did? That's funny. I think that's the first time I've seen that. Oh my gosh. Shadow Heart is doing very well. I'm giving no, 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 no! Get back up there! Oh, instead of using the restoration chamber down there, I should use this restoration instead. Okay, and finish. Yep. I don't know if that's going to be worth it, but it's dipped. Yeah, I'm going to get two turns of dip at least. So that means I'm more likely to kill the Hellborn one shot. That wasn't Lysel. That still wasn't Lysel. No matter how you look at it, that was not Lysel. Okay, whatever. I'm gonna beat the shit out of this stupid Hellbore with Shadowheart. Actually, no. I'm bringing Lizel over. Because otherwise, Shadow. Otherwise, the Mind Player is going to die. Drop. He has to drop it or we lose. Nope. No, no. Because, like, I'm going to take another turn of damage then. I can't take another turn of damage. I, I just... That one misplay right there, that one misplay of attacking first with Shadowheart instead of Lysel is enough of a problem that uh, you just straight up lose. In my, in my opinion. You just straight up lose right there. Okay, produce flame. I'm going to use dip on the fire to give her mace a bit of extra damage for the tutorial. Hopefully she can just kill things in one shot then. That is the hope, at least. That's fine. Yeah, the I got did six damage plus one, uh, one fire damage. So that was actually the reason why I was able to kill that imp in one shot. Can I do the same thing again? Oh, good, good, good.
Okay. Get in here. Pass the cutscene. Pass resistance. F2 to swap over to Lysel. Dip. F1 to swap back to Shadow Heart. Walk forwards. What do we have here? Do it. Okay, Lysel's gonna go first, so hopefully with her dip sword she'll have enough that she'll be able to kill the Hellbore. Please do not miss this. Oh, there you go. Okay. Okay, you have to run past, and I have to get the drop. I have to get the drop, I have to get the drop, I have to get the drop. Thank you! Because otherwise, like, the, the Mind player is just going to take too much damage in one in that one turn. And he's going to lose, like, three or four turns worth of health because of it. Because as long as Zalk is holding his sword, he deals so much fucking damage. Okay, we're gonna kill you. And we're gonna jump over there. Pick up. Pick up. Walk you over there. Cool. Shadow Heart, you are gonna go pick that up. I'm gonna move over there, and you're gonna throw a health potion at Brendo. Okay. Zog's taking a little bit of damage, that's good. Oh, it's always good to see misses. Okay, pick up the Everburn Blade. Okay. Oh fuck, I'm in range now. Of an attack. That's fine. Can't do anything about that anyways. Jump over there. I went too far. Like, an inch too far, and that was just- that was enough. To cause an issue. What? No space? Oh. There you go. Yeah, I'm gonna rush the imp with Shadow Heart after I hit him. Your time has come. Okay, I'm ready to detonate it as soon as it's time. I'm gonna wait as long as I can and then I'm gonna detonate it. I should be able to do about 60 damage with that, I think. On its own, so hopefully that'll be enough. Use Lacerate. And Pommel Strike. Oh, I got the daze on him. Awesome. Okay. I forget what Daze does, actually. I think it restricts something? I don't know. Hey, be careful throwing fire around my explosive canisters, please. Okay. Okay, are they gonna be able to reach me next turn? Maybe. Okay, no, they're not close enough. Time to strike. Why did she lose a turn? She only had a bonus action to use. That was weird. Mmm, that's not good. 
Okay, I need to deal there. I need to hit him. I need to hit him this time. I very badly need to hit him this time with Lysel. Ooh, and she needs to not go down. Uh, okay. Let's hope. Bruce Flame Hurl. Nope, it wasn't enough. But it just killed everyone, except for... I don't even... <laughs> Lizelle didn't even go down, she just died instantly. What happens if I just go into Sanctuary here? And just end my turn? What are they going to do? They can't attack me. Wait, what? Hold on a second. I lost Sanctuary. How did I lose Sanctuary? Did I take fire damage maybe and lose it? Okay. Oh. Okay. That is that is as much as I can do today for challenge runs. I'm feeling pretty wiped out, I assume, because of the vaccine. Oh, yeah, it's been a shorter stream than I would have liked, but I'm going to have to call it because, yeah, I need to I need to rest. I'm hoping to start streaming more and earlier in the near future. I have noticed that the the main times for streaming Baldur's Gate are like noon pacific or earlier like 10 a.m to 12 yeah 10 10 to 12 uh in the morning uh pacific time so i might start streaming earlier and seeing how that goes i mean i did say i was going to change my schedule so i am planning on doing that oh and i want to try it out i want to see if uh this brings in more people and we'll keep working on this challenge because i would like to do this on tactician difficulty one day Theoretically, there should be a lot more of these creatures, these explosive canisters, too, if I can find them. So I'm gonna just see what I can do on that sense. Okay, today, the fourth episode of Baldur's Gate 3 came out on the channel. I've been having a lot of fun setting all that stuff up, and I'm most excited about the episode coming next Tuesday which is the episode where I spend the better part of an hour trying to yeet a child off a cliff. It is amazing how how resilient children are in this game. I'm just going to say that. The entire episode basically is trying to yeet a child off a cliff. And it's very funny. It really is. But oh boy, does it not make sense. <laughs> Oh, okay. So I'll be back at, um, I'm thinking, well, I don't know if I, I don't think I'll be able to do noon for my streams. I, I'll announce on Discord what time I'm thinking of trying streaming. I'm probably going to try a few different times in the near future just to see what is a good, good or bad day or good or bad time. Apparently, two, like Thursday night is not a good time whatsoever. Apparently, Wednesday is the best day to stream for Baldur's Gate. I don't know why, but apparently that's true, and Sunday is the worst. Which doesn't surprise me. People probably have something to do on Sunday. Anyways. 
Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate you very much. For those on YouTube, please like, comment, and subscribe to both the VOD channel at Black Hat Streams and the Highlights channel at Black Hat Studio, where the highlights of this series are going up. And where I will be posting this challenge video once it is done. Because I do intend to post this video as a challenge eventually. Because I do want to challenge other people to do this as well. Because I want to see what other people can get for their times. But I also want to see if I can get under five minutes, ideally. For the balanced mode. And also beat the tactician difficulty at all. Okay. Okay. Thank you all for coming tonight. And I will see you in the next stream.